no anxiety creeps up on me Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be around the house. I'm gonna do a quick morning workout, trying to keep myself healthy, and then we are going to tackle the master bedroom closets. They are packed full of summer stuff, winter stuff, kids clothes. I have stuff in here since I've been in college. Oh my God, we need to clean it out. So today's the day. Definitely stick around to see what the heck I found in my closet. <laughs> Scared me to death. If you guys are new here, my name is Laura Nicholson. I love to do all things home decorating, cooking, cleaning, cleaning, all the homemaking motivation right here. I would love it if you would subscribe to my growing channel and join the fun. And if you're returning, it is so great to see you. Please stick around to see what we're cooking in the kitchen at the end of this video. All right, let's get into it. How it's supposed to feel. Tell me when it's over. I got some place that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone. It's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky It might feel just like you're on your own But baby, it's not the lie, remember you were me I try to to get started, we're gonna jump right into the gym. You guys have been asking a lot about this workout outfit I've been wearing. It's the pink top and bottom, and I have been linking it down below, but I wanted to thank Gym Plus Coffee for sponsoring this part of the video, and I wanted to share a little bit about the clothes that I wear. I also have the same set in black, and I absolutely love it. This is an Irish athleisure and lifestyle brand that focuses on building community with their mission of making life richer, which I think is super cool, but honestly, what I really love about these gym clothes is they are they are super tight in the kind of belly area and it keeps everything kind of snatched up and nice. So I can wear this throughout the entire day. I can throw a baggy sweater over the top. I like that the bralette and the pants actually meet in my belly area, which just makes me feel like so much more put together. I like that it is ribbed, which all of my gym clothes are usually ribbed. That kind of like hides all the little things in there that I, I try to hide as often as I can. But for the most part, I absolutely love that these are super transitional. We are gonna be traveling and I plan on wearing this on the airplane just because it's just such an easy outfit to transition, whether it's just with a pair of running shoes or just some regular flip-flops. These are the perfect outfit if you guys are looking for this. If you guys wanna check out their website, they are actually a, one of the cool things I like about this company is they're planning for a sustainable future. They are tracking to have over 50% of their styles will be sustainably made, which I think is awesome. Here's a bunch of things that they have on their website. I absolutely love this little crop black Sierra. I actually have this in two colors. It's just like the perfect thing if you're looking. It meets the bralette like right at the belly too, which I love. And then I also have a pair of their joggers, which I just ordered. They haven't arrived yet, but they look so cute. They're like the perfect jogger. I love these. They're not too baggy. And then here's the set that I purchased a couple months ago that I love. Here's the top and the bottoms match. But if you guys are looking for some amazing athleisure wear, I highly recommend Gym Plus Coffee. If you want to check it out, go use the link down below or go to gympluscoffee.com. And thank you so much to Gym Plus Coffee for sponsoring today's video. Everybody that would like to join me and wearing these awesome clothes, you can get 20% off your first order with Gym Plus Coffee by going to the link down below and using code Nicholson to save 20% off today. Okay, guys, let's get cleaning. Work, work. But it doesn't work I try to say something But there's a word I try to justify my actions Less reactions are to get started, I have pulled almost everything out of this closet on the floor is mostly winter stuff. In the other closet behind me, I've got a lot of summer stuff. That's kind of how I've been rotating for the last 10 years. I just kind of add winter stuff to the floor, summer stuff up above. I only have these three small closets in this old Victorian that we have, and it's time to start getting rid of stuff. I was going through all of this, you guys, and I had things in here Literally, I had a couple dresses from high school. Like I am 30, almost 38 years old. That's a no for me. So we definitely need to declutter. I also had a bunch of my kids clothes in here for some odd reason. I know it looks like a lot, but it's, these closets are so tiny. Like if you can see my body, that's 
that's the closet. So we need to go through everything. What I want to do is actually get a bunch of stuff ready to donate. And then I'm also going to be just kind of slimming down um, my winter stuff, putting that off to the side and then bringing out a lot of my spring stuff. I would love to know in the comments down below, how do you guys transition your closets? If you have a giant closet, can you please tell us what it looks like and how pretty it is? I just want to live vicariously. I have such closet envy of all of the beautiful closets in the world. So do tell us if you do have a beautiful closet, now is your time to brag down in the comments down below. And if you do have a small closet and have to rotate kind of your clothing, or maybe you're just minimal and just have a couple things. When I was really young, I didn't have a lot of like clothing, so I always would go to friends' houses and just be so envious of, you know, if they had like multiple dresses and multiple pairs of shoes. And so sometimes like when I'm cleaning this closet, I'm realizing that I probably keep a lot of clothes now as I'm older and don't get rid of things because when I was little, like I would open my closet and there was like maybe, you know, 12 pieces in there. I didn't have a lot of clothing. So I, maybe I'm like, I've become like a clothes hoarder because, <laughs> because of that, but it sure does feel good to get a lot of this edited down and put my winter stuff here in the corner. I've got all my sweaters waiting to break out in September. I'm already pumped for fall and just kind of get my summer stuff ready to go. And then over here, I've added all of my lounging sets and then I will start working on putting back like all the shorts and things like that. This is kind of like where I keep all my pants and shoes. I have shoes in here again from college. Why I never throw shoes away. I wear the same three shoes every day. So why I have all these is bizarre. I also have a couple girlfriends who always give me their stuff when they're done using them. Thank you. Uh, you know who you are. And uh, I super appreciate it, but I do need to go through here and kind of get rid of the things that I just aren't, I'm just not going to wear ever and just give them to someone who's going to love them. I'd love to know in the comments down below if you use any of those kind of websites or apps where you can sell your clothes like ThreadUp, Poshmark, I think one's called Depop, and then there's TradeZ, and then one that starts with an M, uh, Mercari, I think it's called. Do you guys use any of those? Do you enjoy using them? Do you usually just donate your clothes? That's usually what I do just because I don't, I, I used Poshmark like back in the day, but now I just don't have the time to manage it. I should probably do that just instead of getting rid of so much stuff. But tell me in the comments down below or tell all of us which ones you use and which ones you've had great success with. When I did Poshmark, I think I made around like six grand over the course of like two or three years, which is pretty good. Um, but I was on it all the time and I wasn't working as much because we had just had Teddy. So but it, if, you if you do use them, I would love to know in the comments down below which ones you like and what do you do with the clothes that you no longer use if you aren't giving them away to someone you know. So like using an app, donating them, um, tell us down below. Brand new street and brand new me Side by side by friends I need Don't you tell me that you're in town I already know, couple days ago Hey, now that our names are written in stone I don't know about you, but 
looking at me sitting on the floor in a pile of clothes folding them makes me laugh because you guys know in all of my organize with me's I like to pull everything out like in the pantry in the laundry room in the basement anywhere in the house I like to pull everything out in the kitchen make a giant mess of it and then put back exactly what I want where I want it do you guys do organizing this way because I feel like this looks crazy it looks like a lot but when I was doing it it wasn't that much stuff I mean didn't feel like that much stuff at least but looking at it this way it seems like it would make most people's anxiety go through the roof but for me this is like very calming and very like to watch it go from super messy to super organized just gives me so much peace let's be honest sounds like home still I'm here alone and I'm calling your phone I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could dream about somebody I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm watching some cleaning videos. I put usually like one cleaning, like a clean with me video on and then just let the YouTube pick whatever goes next. That seems to be the usual way I do it. But do you guys actually clean to cleaning videos? I have for years. They are my favorite thing. I feel like I'm cleaning with a friend, especially when they're super chatty and you just get to know people and if there's good music and there's, you know, sometimes good tips in there. I love that. But I love just like the super chatty ones. And just tell me in the comments, do you guys actually watch clean with me videos when you clean? So this is the closet behind where I sleep and I keep all of my summer clothes in there and I was scared to death just in here pulling things out not thinking for a second that there could be a deadly monster in here and lo and behold I was like there's like this bin where I keep like a bunch of summer clothes Enzo has been sleeping in here. <laughs> And it scared me to death. I like took years off my life, but she's so cute and cuddly. At least she knew she knew I was gonna film in here, so she didn't want to miss saying hi to all of you. So say hi to Enzo in the comments. Okay, now we are on to the shoes and I have to admit like over the last couple years, especially during 2020, I went on to like websites like Shein and Forever 21 and bought all kinds of fun shoes. Why? I have no clue when I wasn't going anywhere and I certainly wasn't wearing shoes for like a solid year. Um, but there were just all these cute shoes and I thought I thought I, when I came out I was going to be like a totally different person but I ended up just being the same. So I need to actually declutter a lot of these shoes and just stick with the staples, stick with what I know which is shorter heels, lots of flip flops and just get this under control in here. Don't you give me the look, take a bow. good to put everything back where it belongs. I've got all my shoes in their special places. I got my work stuff on one side, my leisure on the other side. I've got the jeans all hung up. I've got my sweaters, my little workout. Don't, they're like leisure sets. I don't work out as much as I'd like to, but I definitely like to move my body, get my heart rate up for at least 20 minutes a day has been my goal. And Chewy sleeping as per usual, but I wanted to get my bed made. This is just, this room is just needs a definite facelift. I want to do a summer bed spread this year. Do you guys do that? Do you like switch your bed out from winter to summer? I'm thinking of doing like a totally different vibe in here um, and just making it like a little summery, maybe some linens. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking of doing something a little different in here, but say hi to Chewy in the comments down below. Maybe we'll have a black cat sighting. Who knows? Now that we have
have the bed made, I wanna give the room a nice quick vacuum. I've had this black table in here because I've been working. I'm literally sitting on that bench right now with that black table doing this voiceover. It's just been nice to have a place to work, especially with the kids home for spring break. I've been trying to like hide out up here because I want them to feel like they can go anywhere and they've been in the basement playing down there. They've been on the, oh, black cat sighting. Hi, Portuna. But I've been just trying to hide up, up here that way they can just play and roam and I don't have to be like, be quiet, I'm trying to do a voiceover. Like, that's not. That's not what's gonna go down. <laughs> so I'm up here right now doing this. I'm gonna clean this room. And then I've got a big pile of laundry right behind me that I need to get done. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna film a little bit later today. I will put a, I will put a photo of the laundry pile I have to do today on my Instagram. It is insane. To the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more. No, just wanna make it stop. I'm gonna give this mirror a nice wipe down. I've noticed for the last couple of weeks, I keep coming in here and there's stuff all over it. it looks like lotion or oil. And I realize my kids have been using their like morning body lotion and they have been doing like smiley faces hearts all kinds of things but then when they're done they just scribble all over it so it's just like these massive things of oil but i'm glad I, now i know but here's how everything turned out my room feels so much more peaceful i have to say my clothes hoarding might be at a near end because when i open my closets for the last couple days not having so many options has just been so much nicer and just easier to just go in, need a white shirt, got a white shirt, need a black shirt, got a black shirt. I don't need 80 black shirts. Um, and typically I'd only wear like three of them anyway. So it feels much better to just have a couple options in there. And then I also feel so much better having less shoes in here. I just, they'll be in the hands or on the feet of somebody who can enjoy them and love them. But for me, it just feels so much better having all of this done. Since it's getting late, we need to jump into the kitchen, break out our Instant Pot and get cooking. Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I one of my favorite things to make when it's cold outside is pho, which is a Vietnamese soup. It's super good. It has all kinds of fresh greens and eggs on top. So to get started, I'm gonna use my Instant Pot. I'm gonna throw in two chicken breasts, rather large ones, and then I'm gonna be adding about one fourth cup of chicken stock. Follow the recipe. I'm gonna link the one I use down below. This is not my recipe, so I will link it down there. I don't think it is. I may have modifications. I will look at both what I put here and what I put what I use and see which one is better. I add coriander. I like to use mulling spices in here, a little ground ginger. This is gonna really infuse those great flavors into the chicken. We're not actually gonna use this as our stock. And then I'm gonna put some cloves in here. I just feel like these are the best flavors. These are also the spices that go into the pho, like the actual broth. I pick my broth up at the grocery store and I will share it with you. I'll put a link down below if you guys wanna check it out. But what I do is throw that in the Instant Pot, close that sucker up, cook that. I think it's for like 20 minutes. And while that's happening, we're gonna start prepping all of the ingredients. One of the things I love about pho, you can put literally anything inside. You could do shrimp, you could do beef, you could do, you could do fish, you could do salmon. I mean, really anything. I'm gonna be doing chicken today just because the kids like it more, but these are the vegetables that I always use to top. Sometimes I will use like some red peppers, but today I'm gonna be using some baby bok choy. I'm also gonna be chopping up some fresh green onion, some cilantro, 
some jalapenos, some more onions, because I mean, you just can't do enough onions in this house, and some other little things. But let's just get everything chopped up and ready to go to add to our soup. I will meet you back here in a little bit. First love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go, and that's why. I Now that we have everything prepped and chopped and ready to go, I'm gonna push this aside. We also need to go check on our eggs. I always like to add a couple hard boiled eggs into the pho. I think it's super good. You can actually do without them if you don't prefer that. I just think they're super good and delicious and the kids like to eat them so it makes it a lot friendlier. Now I'm gonna get our noodles on this stove. You can use really any type of noodle. This is the type I like to use. It's very thin and super easy. I also do a really thick one too. Sometimes it's more of like a linguine style, but I like this one. I will also try to link it down below if you're looking to match. Once your chicken's done, go ahead and release it. We're gonna put it on a cutting board and go ahead and shred it up and set that aside. It's for the best thing you I usually like to take the spices off. You don't want to add that to your soup because the flavor gets really bitter, but I do like to add the juice from the instant pot that will keep it nice and moist so your chicken doesn't dry out. You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does, so oh baby For the base of our soup, I like to add a little bit of chicken broth to a nice, you can use a pot or anything, I'm, I'm using a wok today, but I like to use that. And then I use pho bone broth. I like bone broth better. Um, it takes a very long time to perfect a traditional Vietnamese pho, and I'm not even going to come on here and try to act like I know how, so <laughs> I get the store made kind, but you can definitely check those out as well. I will link these bowls. I love them. They are amazing for soups, pastas, bolognese, anything. They are amazing. I will absolutely link them down below. You guys have to get them. They're from Amazon, not expensive at all. To make your soup, just add some noodles in and then add as much broth as you would like. I like a little less, my husband likes a little more, so you'll see I have two different bowls, one with more, one with less. Then we're gonna go over and start piling on all the different items. I like to start with the bok choy when it's really hot. Since the bok choy is not cooked, I like to make it a little al dente. If you just add it to the top of the soup, it will slowly cook that. Then I'll add a little cilantro. I put them in corners and I like to kind of eat them in like pieces 
pieces. Uh, my husband likes to mix them all in and eat them all together. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of onion in here. Then we'll put some of the green onion in here. And then we'll add um, some of the whites the, from the scallions as well as some jalapenos. I also have a little lime in here. It just freshens the dish up. You definitely don't have to do that. If you wanted to maybe put some lime zest in here, that could be good too. You could use mint or basil, especially Thai basil in this recipe if you're maybe looking for something a little bit different than cilantro. But these are really, there's no wrong way you can make this soup. Definitely Google, there's a, on Pinterest, there's like 50 different ways to make pho on there. But this is the way we usually do it. it makes it nice and easy. Um, once I get everything piled up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut our eggs, get that in, and then I'll show you how it all turns out. And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining But the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby Don't need another view Time is not on my mind But then it's you oh. I always like to garnish everything with a little bit of salt and pepper. And if you would like to add a little bit more of the broth on top, you can just to keep everything moist. But here's how it all turned out. Super simple dish. This literally takes 20 minutes or as long as the chicken needs to be in the crock pot. No, instant pot. You guys know what I meant. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You got to see some fun new workout clothes. You got to see a wonderful hoarder's delight in my closet. And I cannot wait to show you guys the next video. I have so much more fun stuff coming up. I hope you've been enjoying more posting because it has been great to connect with you guys a lot more frequently. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're returning, I will see you in the next video. Bye.